Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix performance issue with Moto GP21 game on your computer. Now the first step is to update your Epic Games Launcher. So if you have Epic Games Launcher installed on your computer, so open Epic Games Launcher and update Epic Games Launcher. Now this has worked for many users, I don't know why, but you can go ahead and update your Epic Games Launcher and then try to launch the game. Now, if you are a Windows 7 users, in that case, open File Explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open your C drive, then open Windows folder, then open System32 folder, and then scroll down and find X input 1 underscore 3.dll file over here, make a right click, copy it, and then paste it on the desktop. Now once you paste this file over here, make a right click and rename it to x input 1 underscore instead of 3 write number 4 so rename it as x input 1 underscore 4 dot dll make a right click copy it over here once you copy the file paste it to the same folder that is system32 folder make a right click then click on paste now in my case i already have this x input 1 underscore 4 dot dll file so that's why i'm receiving this power which says replace the file so in your case, once you have this X input, so paste it. Once you have this file over here, try to launch the game. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, make a right click on the game, then click on manage, then click on browse local files and go to the game installation folder, which will take you to the game installation folder. Or you can simply go to the game installation, open the Steam library folder, and then open the Steam apps, then open the common folder, then open the game folder over here and make a right click over here, then paste the file over here. So I already have it and my game is still downloading so you don't see much file over here. So paste the x input 1 underscore 4 dot dll file in the game installation folder in the game folder and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to disconnect all the external devices which is connected to the, to the computer. Disconnect it and then try to launch the game. The next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA. So select your model number. Just make sure that you select your model number from the list over here and then click on search and then click on download. And once you download the file, once the file is downloaded, run the exe file and then you will see this screen. Agree to the terms and then select the option which says custom and then click on next. Then you have to put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, put a check over here, then click on next and once it is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, so in that case type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder so open the steam folder then open steam apps folder then open the common folder and then open the moto gp folder uh, over here and once you open this folder you have to go ahead and select the game exe file inside this folder so open this folder my game is still downloading so i don't have the exe file available right now but once you open this moto gp21 folder you will find the game exe file so click on add once you select uh, once you add the game exe file i'll show you what you have to do click on options once the game is added click on options then click on select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is to install visual c++ file so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 so click on both the exe file that is x86 and x64 so install both the files over here. Once it is installed, run the exe file. Make sure that you're downloading both the x86 and x64 version. So click on repair or install whatever you see. Run both the files over here. Click on yes to allow. Click or install or repair whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. And once the file is installed, you have to go ahead and restart the computer and then try to launch the game. So 
So do not click on restart now. Let both the file install properly on the computer. Once this is installed, you can click on restart now or you can simply go to the start menu and then click on the power icon, then click on restart. And after that, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. The next step is to disable the Steam Cloud. To disable Steam Cloud, open Steam, select the game and then make a right click on the game, select properties and uncheck the option which says keep game save in Steam Cloud for MotoGP. Uncheck this and then try to launch the game. The next step is to update your Windows 10. So make sure that your window is up to date. So go to the settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to disable full screen optimization and run the game as an administrator. So again, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, then select manage and then click on browse local files and it will take you to the game installation folder. Now, once you are in the game installation folder, so in my case, the game is still downloading. So I'll show you with different games. So once you go inside the game installation folder, select the game exe file, make a right click, then select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, apply OK and then try to launch the game. The next step is to run the, uh, the game from installation folder. So again, uh, make a right click on the game and then select manage, then click on browse local files and run the game from the game installation folder. The next step is to verify the game file. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and then once the verification is done, try to launch the game. The next step is to disable Steam overlay. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then try to launch the game. Now, if you have any other overlay applications, so if you have Discord running on the computer, so if you have Discord or GE Force Experience running on the computer, close Discord, close GE Force Experience, close all the overlay application on the computer and perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case, I already did it. So once you put a check over here, then click on disable all, then click on apply, okay, then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI after burner running on the computer or Reva tuner running on the computer, go ahead and close all the overlay application and close all the background application. So make sure only game and the Steam is running on the computer and close all the background application. You can also do this, go to the uh, settings and then in the search box, you can go ahead and type in background application. Just type in background apps over here, select background apps and then make sure this is off over here. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. And if you're using Windows security, make sure that allow the game file to the control folder, accessed folder. So open settings once again, go to update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down and here you can see ransomware protection, click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So again, open the Steam folder, Steam apps, common, then open the game folder and once you open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added over here, try to launch the game. Now the next step is to try to run the game in window mode and you can go to the game graphics settings and try to lower down all the graphics. So if you are running the game in ultra or high, try medium or low graphics settings and then try to launch the game. So try to make changes in the graphics settings and that should go ahead and help you to improve the performance. Now the next step is to update your system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have HP, go to HP. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo website. So go to your system manufacturer website and from there update your system BIOS. And during the BIOS update, make sure the charger is connected to the computer in case if it is a laptop. 
and make sure you disconnect all the external devices and the battery on your computer is more than battery percentage is more than 10 percent and then try to update your bios and if nothing is working then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game to uninstall again go to the steam make a right click on the game select property uh, click on manage then click on uninstall and after you uninstall the game restart your computer and then reinstall the game and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel